Hello friends, today let's learn the figure of speech idioms. An idiom is a group of words which mean something different from its literal meaning. Let's see in detail. An idiom is an expression whose meaning cannot be understood based on the definition of its constitutional elements. Idioms are phrases which people use in everyday language which do not make sense literally but we understand what they mean. Why learn idioms for recognition? It is really valuable to recognize idioms when you hear them or read them. Knowledge of idioms is essential for understanding spoken English. People use them all the time instead of more formal ways of expressing themselves. You will hear them often in movies, on TV, in songs and through people's everyday language use. Why use them yourself? Idioms add life and vitality to language. Without idioms, language can be correct, but it may be very dull. When you are able to use idioms comfortably in your own speech and writing, then you have achieved a higher level of mastery and fluency in the language. Let's see some examples of idioms. Other ways to say, take a powder, to leave, especially in order to avoid a difficult situation. Take the shine off, to do something that diminishes a positive event. Take your life in your hands, undergo extreme risk. Test the waters, try something out in a preliminary way. Thin on the ground, rare, seldom encountered, to the letter, exactly, under the wraps, temporarily hidden secret, up for grabs, available for anyone, you know the drill, you are already familiar with the procedure. Idioms about weather, a cold day in July, something that will never happen, a snowball's chance in hell, to be very unlikely to succeed at something, all wet, completely mistaken, blood and thunder, a dramatic, spectacular performance, spit into the wind, wasting time on something futile, chase rainbows, to pursue unrealistic goals, come rain or shine, do regularly whatever the circumstances, steal someone's thunder, upstate someone, dead of winter, the coldest, darkest part of winter. People idioms Going crazy, blow up, explode, go ape, express wild excitement or anger, go bananas, to become irrational or crazy, go mental, to suddenly become extremely angry, go nuts, to become crazy, hit the roof, to become very angry, pop one's cock, to release one's anger, to blow one's top, go off the deep end, to unexpectedly become very angry, fly off the handle, lose one's temper suddenly and unexpectedly. Business idioms, negotiation, trial balloon, a test of someone's or the public's reaction, back and forth, dialogue, negotiations, an offer one can't refuse, an extremely attractive offer, come to terms with, Feel acceptance towards something bad that has happened. Draw a line in the sand. Issue an ultimatum. Specify an absolute limit in a conflict. Drive hard bargain. To negotiate effectively. Give and take. Negotiations. The process of compromise. Sweeten the deal. Add something to an offer during a negotiation. Stand one's ground. Refuse to back down insist on one's position business idioms jobs get a sack to be fired hanging by a thread in great danger of elimination or failure off the hook free from blame or responsibility to do something rank and file the ordinary members of an organization move up in the world become more successful out of work unemployed Give someone the old heave-ho. Fire someone. Remove someone from a group or team. Pink slip. A layoff notice. Loss of a job, typically because of layoffs. 
burn the candle at both ends work very long hours idioms about happiness be a barrel of laughs to be fun funny and pleasant let one's hair down to relax and enjoy themselves feast your eyes on to take great pleasure in looking at someone or something full of joys of spring very happy enthusiastic and full of energy have a ball to have a very enjoyable time have a whale of time to enjoy yourself very much more fun than a barrel of monkeys a very good time a pleasant occasion with bells on eagerly willingly and on time have the time of your life enjoy yourself very much summarization of what we have learned idioms are expressions which have meaning that is not obvious from the individual words the best way to understand an idiom is to see it in context most idioms are fixed in their form and cannot be changed or varied as it can be difficult to work out what an idiom means you will often need to look them up in a dictionary why do we learn idioms to improve our level of english to understand native speakers thank you